Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out the new Shop Miss A products that I just hauled and also I just I'm gonna throw a few of the new elf products that I got as well. Might as well. We're already here and there's only like two, three products maybe. I have quite a few products in front of me if you saw my haul and if you didn't just click right here. I kind of have a look in mind. I want to go like with a mauve kind of route. But I finally got scrunchies last night and I um, actually kind of love them. I kind of feel like a little girl with like my hair to the side but I just didn't want to do my hair. I feel like the scrunchie makes it look kind of cute. We're just going to go with it. I just want to put this clear lip pop gloss on because my lips are kind of dry and it kind of feels like a lip balm. I haven't used any of these products since that video. I feel like I have two different spectrums I could go. I could go mauve or I could go peachy. So if you want to see like a second peachy look with the other Shop Missy products because I feel like I could really do a peachy look as well. Just let me know down below if I don't like incorporate them in this look. I really hope you all enjoy the video and let's just get started. I also have a basket of like my old favorite Shop Missy products. If something here just isn't doing it for me then I'm just going to use my old product or if I don't have a product for that category then I'm just going to use it. But I'm still going to try and stick with only Shop Miss A products for this video except for the few elf products that I'm going to use. So I'm just priming my lids with my Santi Super Smooth Concealer and I always use this and if you don't know if this is from Shop Miss A. If you didn't see that video like I would go watch it because I was kind of disappointed in this sponge honestly because it's not that soft like it's nowhere near as soft as my other one and then they just launched a bunch of new ones and they were like we're improving the formula because our other one was inconsistent and I was like well great. I could have known that. I literally like didn't know that. Like everyone I saw reviewed it was like, oh, it's so soft. But no, this isn't that soft and I literally bought six of them for like all my friends. I have a few shadows. So these are the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadows and I actually really like these. I haven't used these on my channel in a long time. These are also from Shop Miss Same. But this is just like such a good basic palette. I definitely recommend this. We're just going to go ahead and set the lid because there's nothing that really needs to stick. So I'm just going to use that cream shade and set the lid and hopefully my next video will be another james charles look but i want to get like a primer this time because a lot of people were like what you didn't like it it's not that i didn't like it i just need to figure out another way to work with it so one of the elf products i'm going to try out is the elf tape stuff they both have a gap hopefully they're going up the same direction it's fine for the transition shades i'm definitely going to be dipping into these palettes the only shadows i have is this shadow and it's a cream and shimmer so i'm probably gonna focus into this palette since i'm doing purples it's gonna be like a really simple look i'm just doing my eyes first just because i wanted to do this tape and the liner situation just dipping into that light mauvey shade that barely shows up i feel like not many people watch my james charles video but if you did did you like the background music i don't know if i'm gonna have background music in this video or what i asked a few people whenever they told me they watched it. Now I'm going in with like this purple down here. And they said they either didn't notice it or like, and I was like, okay, well, I guess that's good. Like, I'm glad you didn't notice it because that means it wasn't like too like overpowering. Now I'm going with that darker purple on the outer corner. These two purples aren't too different. Now I'm going to go with that dark blue just to deepen the outer portion. This whole time I've been on the AOS Studio E127. These are my favorite brushes ever. I'm going to go in more of that purple. Now I'm just going to go in with the AOS Studio Velour Eyeshadow in Lucky Star. Here's what this looks like. I'm just doing do it on my finger. Mm-hmm. This is why I picked this shade because I tried to pick shades that like I don't really have in cream eyeshadow. Look at that. And then I'm just going to kind of tap it on the outer corner. That's basically it. I do want to do liner. Might ruin this look by doing this, but I really want to go in with this AOA Studio Starlit Liquid Eyeliner. This is in Hollywood. I drank coffee this morning, so it's probably not the best thing ever, but it's fine. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. I just did a straight line on my lid without messing up. So that means this is a very good liner brush. So if the black liner brush is just like this, then I probably will pick it up. I just don't really like liner brushes. Okay, I'm gonna try and do a wing. Ooh, yeah, look at that line though. That's some good tape. I just need to learn how to put it next to my eye. So definitely like that and it didn't just pull off my skin. That kind of just like took off all the liner. Didn't take it off smoothly. This took it off in crumbles kind of. I'm gonna try and clean that up. Why did I do purples again? Literally the last three looks I've done have been purple now. Hopefully this doesn't crack. It probably will. This is from Makeaway Studio. I'm never trying to line my eyes right now. So we'll see. It kind of feels like it's already like getting hard and like cracky. Um, loving this. The eyes were so fast. Now I'm going to do my face. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 
natural glow lotion love it literally just like another hint of moisture also not giving a glow but not really showing any shimmer i don't know if it's gonna replace my wet one one it probably will honestly now i'm gonna go in with the aoa studio perfect bb cream i love this so much this is literally such a great bb cream it has pretty good coverage i don't know if you're gonna be able to see because i'm using this sponge and i might suck off all the coverage this sponge isn't gonna let it spread out this is just kind of sticking it yeah. I don't really need much coverage today, so we're probably just gonna leave it like this. For my concealer, I've never liked this AOA Studio Wonder Cover. I have the light yellow shade. In my last testing, I mixed this with this BB cream and I liked how it looked, so we'll see. I've also never tried the actual skin tone coverage ones. I watched a video and she had like the white one and the skin tone one and she was like wow these are a different texture and I was like hmm I never like thought to try the actual skin tone one. It looks a little heavy. This is like a magic powder so hopefully it will fix it. This is literally my favorite powder ever and this is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in Soft Light. Literally makes anything look good. So I got this AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder in almond so I could bronze with it. I'm gonna use this on my F24. Tap in once because it's very powdery. It's just very natural, which I like. E125. I'm just kind of trying to put color on my nose. But I just realized I have a cream blush. The AOA Studio Hush Cream Sheer Blush. I guess I'll just take the butt of this and just kind of tap it in there a lot. You can see kind of the pigment. Hopefully this isn't going to show up like super crazy because I just did a lot. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to do one on each cheek and then just kind of bounce back and forth. And I'm actually going to like switch to the part that had my skin tone colors on it because I feel like this is kind of sticking in one place. I literally just hit my eyelid and a chunk of that eyeliner just came off. It was good while it lasted. So I know when I put lashes on top of that now that it's just gonna come off. And then we're gonna take this dewy cream highlighter and it has kind of like a pink reflect to it. I'm just gonna take the tip of this and yeah. And this actually looks pretty good over top of this. I just wish they had more natural colors. All of their colors were duochrome. So I feel like for some reason this cheek isn't blending as well. Maybe it's because there was more powder in it, but I feel like there's some chunks up in here. And then there's more liner flaking off and going into my eye. And I'm gonna take that down my nose, my chin, my cheekbones. I think I might just keep it like this. It's not too intense, but it's like, it's intense enough. There's so many flaky bits around my nose. Now for my lower lash line, detail grease brush, because if anything touches this liner, it's gonna go everywhere. I'm just gonna take those purples. And then on my inner corner, I'm going to use Circus Highlighter. This is the reason I got this was for an eyeshadow, because it's so brand new. I'm going to take Lucky Star Shadow on this brush. We'll see if it applies well with the brush or not. I'm uh, trying to get it down here. Yep, it works. So I just quickly did my brows with the Go Brow from AOA Studio. I feel like that only really works if you have bigger brows, because it kind of gets everywhere. That's how much color added to my brows pretty nice. So I actually did try to apply lashes. I was like, might as well, like while I'm waiting for this battery to charge. I was like, maybe it will save it. But no, it literally just made it worse. This liner just like clumped into the lash glue and like they did not apply well at all. The liner just makes it look all goopy. These are the Cara 43 lashes. I want to just go ahead and do the lips and be done with this so I can get this off my face. This is the Wonder Matte Lipstick and Hype. So I tried the Lip Pop in Starlit and I thought that that was going to be like super mauve because it does look like it, but it's very pink. It like literally had the worst chemical taste ever that I had a stomach ache from wearing it. Oh, I love this color so much. Not really with this look because I feel like it's too much pink. If I go over it with City Girl, which is more of like a brownish color. But yeah, these just smell like chemicals. Chad and But this one isn't as bad either. Maybe Starlet's just really well. This is the finished look. I wish this liner worked because I literally applied it so well. Of course, like the time that I apply my liner well, um, it's not going to be good. Yes, I love this lip color so much. At least we get to end on a positive note. This liner, at least the purple one, I bet all the other ones are like it though. Cracks and then crumbles off. But it's just very sad. I really like this shadow. It's not creasing on me at all and I didn't even set it. Everything else I really liked. I'm just going to have to try it with my regular base routine. The only thing I don't recommend is that liner. Overall, positive review, kind of. Just a negative brought everything down. Once again, if you want to see that peachy look, just let me know down below. And also let me know if you like the background music. What do you want me to change on my channel? And the new year, what do you think will improve my channel and my content? Just let me know down below any video ideas, anything like that. I really want to improve my content, my channel. I want 2019 to be my year that I grow. Once again, I really love Shop Misse. That one product just kind of put me in a bad mood. So I'm not dissing like all Shop Misse makeup. That's really the first product in a while that I've tried that has really disappointed me. I'll link my Shop Misse favorites down below 
if you want to see that. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!